Panel Brush Mode Configuration In Manor, it also supports a brush mode to deploy between the egress router and the core switch. Every packet has to pass through the Reno before forward to the outside internet. Basically, that will not affect the user topology and no extra routing have to configure. All traffic will be re immediate recovered even though the device is down. The locker is still able to bypass the Reno devices and reach the outside destination. It is very easy to configure but just simply select the interface pair to form a bridge between the LAN and the WAN. This is the basic deployment of the WANO in the bridge environment. User can see that the WANO was directly connected to the LAN and firewall as a bridge connection. All of the internet traffic has to pass through the WANO to achieve the purpose of the acceleration. No extra network has been created and just simply assign it with a single IP address. However, to achieve the target of the acceleration, the VPN connection must be set up in the VNO. Otherwise, the user has to set up in the firewall. Now we introduce some basic steps to configure the bridge in the VNO. First of all, user have to select the service mode for the VNO deployment. In this particular, of course, we will select the bridge as the deployment mode. After that, select which interface pair that is connected to the core switch and the firewall and configure the necessary IP address and default gateway for the VNO that is same signet within the local area network. Lastly, choose the preferred DNS server by memory and enter the IP address for it. This is the basic web UI of the VNO. Now we set up the deployment under the network tab. Basically, there are two types of the service mode which is the acceleration only or VPN and acceleration. In here, we ensure the VPN connection was being set up in the egress firewall, so we select acceleration only. And also there are two types of the deployment mode, which is the bridge and the double bridge. So we did follow with the topology and select the bridge. User have to select which interface pair that is connected to the LAN and MANs. Otherwise the interface is not selected will become a mesh interface. In here we are going to select the Ethernet 0 and the Ethernet 2 as a pair. After that, we have to assign a working IP for the VNO, which is 192.168.1.1. After that, we have to point to the default gateway, which is the firewall, with the IP address 192.168.1.254. If there are many different VLAN under LAN, user can assign IP address over here. According to the topology, there is no interface other than pair connected to the VNO wire DNC port. In here, we are leaving all settings as a default. After that, we can assign a preferred DNS server for VNO, either local server or outside server. In here, I just simply add in the 8.8.8.8 as the DNS server. Lastly, save and apply. The service will require Reno to restart the devices. User can wait for a while, then the deployment mode for the bridge will consider done. Now we are forward to the double bridge mode and this topology is about the deployment of the double bridge within the same subnet. User can file over here the entire local area network is only one subnet which is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Basically, users have to assign two different working IP for each interface pair. In here, you can see there is an IP address 192.168.1.1 point to the first firewall. Another interface pair should also under same subnet IP address 192.168.1.2 and point to the second firewall. The second topology is about double bridge with the different subnet. There are two subnet under user local area network connected to the VNO. Of course, both working IP should follow their subnet and assign different working IP. User only have to memorize that the working IP of the VNO in bridge pair await same subnet within your firewall. This is the basic step to configure the double bridge interface. Basically, they are quite similar with the bridge interface. The only difference is double bridge no need to select any interface pair. Both interface pair will serve as the active path to forward the traffic. Users have to assign each working IP for both interface pair in order to make the VNO able to work properly. Now we come back to the web UI and configure. First of all, users only have to select double bridge as the deployment mode. 
After that, user can directly configure the working IP of the WAN node and default gateway under 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. In this breaker, the second interface bridge is also under same subnet with the first pair, so user can simply assign same subnet working IP for it. The last step for double bridge is quite similar, and user only have to assign their preferred DNS server IP address. Before the end of the tutorial, I have to show you configure some basic setting. In this scenario, the window is working as the IP 192.168.1.1, and it is directly connected to the firewall 192.168.1.254. However, there are two different subnets at the below of the core switch, and we have to add both networks in the local subnet by clicking a new. After that, add the corresponding network for it, which is 192.168.2.0, and the following subnet mask 255.255.255.0. After that, create a remaining local subnet 192.168.3.0. So that's all for the local subnet. However, the menu still unable to route to the following network, so we have to add the static route for it. We can move to the tab routing and click for the static route basically there is same way as a rocker subnet by adding the subnet 192.168.2.0 and point to the gateway as a call switch IP address 192.168.1.80 And add for the another static route. So that is all for the basic routing we have to do in the bridge mode. So that's all for my tutorial.